everyone i hope you guys are doing well today i'm going to be doing a reading on diddy this was one of my most requested videos in a very long time i'm not gonna lie i know i have been absent a little bit on youtube um there has been a few things that has been going on if you follow me on my business page then you know but i am back to bring you guys this video because this video is highly requested and you guys ask a lot of questions because i asked a poll because i was receiving so many questions in my dm and i said you know what let me just put like a little question box in my stories and i printed out some of them <laughs> because it was just too much so we're gonna run through them hopefully you guys like this video please click up the thumbs up if you're not subscribed please subscribe comment down below interact with one another please keep it respectful please be kind to one another um this is a safe community and this is a no judgment free zone okay i have a lot of cards here i might pull some of them out but for others i may not i do have a website you're able to check down below in the description box all my information is there my personal page on instagram my business page on instagram it is private you're able to request it um and i will accept you and i do have a second channel where i share my travels so if you are interested in that then the link will be also down below in the description box this video is being done because a video was given to cnn um in regards to what diddy sean combs have done to you know pop r&b singer cassie um very unacceptable a lot of abuse victims have been triggered i was triggered as well and it was just very sad and it was very disappointing but yet at the same time it was not surprising because as you guys know if you have followed me for so many years or if you just subscribe and you've just been binging into my channel you guys know that diddy is not one of the kindest souls on this planet and we have done years ago a challenge on biggie notorious big and he mentioned why he passed away um and that was one of the questions that was here um so i'm just gonna run through these questions okay so if you haven't checked out that channel video um then i believe it's there and if it's not in that video it has to be a video in regards to little kim i'm not sure as like i said i have done that video legit years ago okay so yeah okay so as i'm going through the questions um let's start off with the uh video right let's ask the archangels right and let's ask um diddy's guardian angel was his apology that he released on his instagram was it sincere i mean i hit rock bottom but i make no excuses my behavior on that video is inexcusable honestly what i'm picking up off the bat it was not sincere um well the angels are showing me that he's trying to save his image but yet at the same time this is just kind of more of a karma karma there's going to be a lot of things that's going to unfold if you watch my 2024 yearly prediction we have mentioned that there's going to be a bit more scandals that's going to come out we do see that but besides that we do see that the apology was not sincere uh we do see that his mind was a bit heavy at that time um kind of going back and forth what to say uh we do not see the story being well the apology being written um so if you believe that apology was written it was not he's a businessman so he knows how to talk okay so that's what angels are saying um angels are showing me that he's like really planning or like it's like a spiritual escape so he just really wants to run right now um but it's kind of like there's no really place there's no real place to go um as of right now um but the angels are showing me that in regards to cassie um uh, no he's not really sorry um which is really crazy because angels are showing me he has daughters so he would never want that for his daughters but he doesn't mind you know being in control and being possessive and um 
bringing down a woman's stature the angels are showing me like level and like knocking them down a few no levels like humble humbling in his eye in his eyes and making a woman feel or be submissive towards him But when it comes down to the allegations, it's no allegations because what Archangel Michael just stepped forward and Archangel Michael is saying that he's an abuser. He has been an abuser since he was a teenager. Okay, this came out in reverse. It says the situation will improve, but it came up upside down. Okay, so we do see that this is going to be more of his downfall. Okay, this is just literally this is just the beginning of it. Okay, this card wants to come out. It says over here, see, look, look, look at this. The no card came up. Okay, and it says the situation will improve. It will not improve. Do you see this? Okay, so Archangel Michael, thank you for the message. Um, things are not going to get better for him. Okay, last card. This one wants to come out and we have to trust more in god we have to trust more in jesus okay see father god if you guys don't know you you cannot see father god this is why father god made his son in his image okay so you can see his face is blurry father god jesus christ okay and this is us as souls his children so what archangel michael is saying is that we have to trust more in god in regards to not only just cassie and all women that was involved with him because they just are showing me it's just not only just relationship wise it's also sexual based okay um a lot of women that were involved with him they get spit on they get pissed on they get like slapped up got their hair yanked they get choked up um they get you know just i keep on hearing like 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 a shaking um like crawling i seen like a lot of crawling um a n a l we do see that as well um so it's just a lot of submissiveness that he has done to women and just kind of like deplorable they just said deplorable okay so in regards to the apology, no, the apology was not sincere at all. And that's, let's go to one question. Um, the majority of the questions that's here, uh, a lot of you guys are asking. I already printed this out, guys, for you. All right. Yeah, it's, it's really similar in, in these pages. Okay, so the, ma the majority of the questions. Yep, there we go. The majority of the questions that you guys are asking is did he go into jail and as of right now no as of right now no okay it's just not see oh okay not the right time came up this is how i have the cards okay not the right time came up and big happy changes so over time in the future okay so we do see this is, this can take like a year like not gonna lie so this is gonna be a long downfall a long downfall it's gonna be summer it's gonna be heightened okay there is a, going to be a documentary or like a series of diddy okay there's going to be people that have known him that has distanced himself over these past um angels are showing the number three over these past three years and there's some people from the past as well that's going to be in this documentary um and we do see that um there's gonna be a case that's going to pop up okay again um we do see i'm gonna tap into one of the questions because this is one of the main questions that was being asked we do see this case is gonna pop up again okay um so yeah so the archangel said it's not the right time oh my head just started hurting so this is just overall diddy's energy right now his head is like throbbing at the moment okay the next question it was a lot of this a lot of you guys were asking is diddy a reptilian okay i know there's many conspiracy theories in regards to just like celebrities being with reptilians and stuff like that the archangels are saying absolutely not he's not a reptilian another question that was asked and it was here in a few pages as i was going through them is was his kids involved 
okay what archangel michael is showing me that there was two sons that were involved in just overall his they said fiesta so like parties um but there was one that was a bit more like on, on like on him like that was like his freaking frack and we do see this was his first son so not the adopted one this is his first son ever um we do see that there's some like there has been certain things that his son has seen um in regards to his father and the second biological son we do see tries to emulate him um he sees his father as his idol so there has been certain moments that his son wants to be involved of the shenanigans of his father and father's friends um, and associates um, as for the adopted son we do see that he is very friendly but he is in his own element like he's in his own vibration so he's very he's a socialite but he has heard certain things he has seen things with the glimpses of his eyes but he was never actually involved okay so um i'm not even sure what's the first son's name but i'm just seeing the images and just overall their body and they're saying the adopted son that's no there's no involvement the second son which is his basically his first biological son there is some involvement not with cassie this is just overall with just like some parties and stuff like that and the last son there is some like you know involvement in parties but not to the extent of like the first son okay um and the first son didn't do too much extreme but he has seen a lot of shit okay sorry for cursing but that's just what i see all right the next question is why did he this was the majority of it okay why did he uh unalive biggie all right if you guys seen my uh I, I believe it was either little kim or notorious big video like i said i have done it years ago um biggie did say that uh sean had major involvement when it comes down to his death um so we're going to ask why um in regards to um that we gotta call it archangel azrael and archangel michael we gotta ask why why this happened well archangel michael he just said like that and he just put the word setup so this was a setup and this is also in regards to just the conspiracy of um tupac shakur um that diggy diggy diddy has major involvement with, with or in okay so that's what the angels are showing me right now the mirror the angels are showing that he wanted to be like biggie he wanted biggie's limelight he wanted to shine just like him he wanted his status he wanted his wealth he wanted his popularity he wanted his position. He wanted his spot. He wanted everything that Biggie had. His energy, his aura, okay? He's seen himself in uh, Biggie. So he wanted to take his energy. So those are called spiritual vampires, okay? Second card, Fauna in Love. There is, he had an attraction to faith, by the way. He had an attraction to faith, but that's just something different. All right. And we do see there was a little bit of attraction to little Kim as well at some point. Some point, you know, but we do see a little bit of boundaries here when it comes down to that. Okay. Reclaiming your authenticity. He, like we just said, he's not authentic. He wanted to kind of emulate Biggie. All right. He was jealous of him. So basically kind of like that jealous friend. It was like that friend that you feel as though like oh yeah like you know what like i'm gonna rock with you and it's like they really don't even got you back like that all right last card and this is the case that the archangels were showing me that may want to resurface um 
but it's gonna take an invest an investigator that's gonna like have that yearn to be like let's do this again you know what i'm saying like let's let's tap into this one more time all right we do see the Shug that's in prison has a lot of information on Diddy. Um, and we do see that there is a connection with Shug that is going to release a lot of information in regards to Diddy. Because this guy, we do see a phone call. And we do see it's like it's goal time. It's not like the, lot of, the literal words goal time, but we do see it's like a goal. So something's going to be released in regards to Diddy. Um, and so on that is no longer in association with Suge and this friend is also that lives in Los Angeles um, is going to come out with some information as well in regards to the death of Notorious B.I.G. So just kind of stay tuned of that, all right? It will come out in like the shade room and one of those like gossip websites. Uh, heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, weightless. Biggie's in... There was a point in time that Biggie was in purgatory, so he was downstairs, but now he's in heaven, okay? It's been uh, many years now that he has been in heaven, um, and he's in total peace. Um, he's uh, absolutely content. Um, he's absolutely happy. He just really wants money for his daughter. There's a daughter that's struggling right now financially. Um, the, he is going to be helping his son with like his, we do see like a movie career, um and to become a ceo um to like network with other like business people because he has that mindset um but we do see that he's like asking for his daughter like to support his daughter um his daughter looks like him too that's what the angels are showing me i gotta like go look on social media listen i don't follow one of that type of stuff okay but um What I just heard, and excuse my language, but this is what I'm, be, I'm being told, is not gonna get away with shit anymore. This nigga got away with shit for too long. And he tried to fuck my family over. Cause he said that he always will have my back and my family's back. And then it's like, it's like his, it's like a heaviness, cause he's light now, but it's like this heaviness that's here. And it's like, 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 like I really trusted this man. Like, it's just like, it's this, it's like, he's trying to say like, I really trusted him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, I really thought like this man had my back. So, um, yeah. So let me ask him how long this could take, by the way, because you know, since he's been in heaven for a little bit longer, um, they're able to see like certain time frames of certain things that's going to play out. Oh, okay. Epiphany, 18 months. Let's pull out one more card. I have a lot of acid reflex right now. So, mm. Did Biggie get shot in the chest? It's like, <sighs> he's showing his death, and the way that he passed away was like, <sniffs> it's like he <sniffs> left his body so fast. He's showing like this and like that. 
And what he's showing, I see chemo, his body, he was just looking at him. And what he, I'm hearing say, like, this nigga set me up. Okay, this car flew out. <gasps> you know, I do readings all the time, but I literally, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Because the way that the car flew out, I wish you guys would have saw the way the car flew out. With that card, um, he's going to try to do a disappearance in three months. Uh, there's some depth that, spiritual depth, depth D-E-B-T, -E spiritual depth that, uh, that he's going to have to pay um, because of his passing. So everything is kind of like a karmic cycle. It just may be a certain amount of years of Biggie has been passed away. Or the conspiracy of his death. Something about Diddy's home. It feels like one one of his home is gonna be sold. By the way, Diddy's gonna want to try to. Oh my god, he's gonna want to like off himself. I can't tap into that. Okay, sorry guys. I can't tell if he's gonna do it or not. They're not gonna let me see that. All right. The next question that you guys ask is, will his children be okay? I'm just listening saying semi, okay? Sometimes they're gonna have their days. So there's gonna be days that they're gonna feel okay and there's gonna be days that they're gonna feel sad. There's gonna be days that they feel like everything's upside down. Like, you know, they're trying to destroy our family, but we, we're gonna be a union, we're gonna unit, we're gonna stick together. Um, we do see that the older brother, he's going to step up and take on that dad role. Um, what that can we use for that? But yeah, we do see that he's going to step up and take on that dad role. Like, seriously. He's going to do a good job when it comes down to his baby sisters. Um, they do see his firstborn son is going to connect a bit more with his mother. And he, we do see a sister and a brother. Um, Christian, which is I believe they, the names are coming. So it's Justin Christian. I, I, the, the first one's name is not the doctor was not coming in his name. Um, but Christian is eh, a bit aloof. Like it's just like this moments that he's gonna be okay, and then moments he's gonna be like around his friends and then like he's gonna try to thank you angels he's gonna try to distract himself okay listening to your heart but they have each other so the angels are showing me that they're gonna be okay okay a lot of you guys are asking what's the karma coming back to diddy this is the karma <laughs> everything that's about to unfold right now one of them is gel like we just mentioned okay a lot of them is in regards to just losing um, a lot of deals, a lot of friendship. Um, is this a, something about a car? Um, but angels are showing like one of, the, one of the main things is being charged. But not any time so it could take a while. Okay. Um, a lot of you guys are asking... Um, what's up with his personality like why is he so sadistic okay because i'm reviewing these questions um and angels are saying that diddy has a god complex okay one of you guys have asked if he repents will he still go to hell or make it to heaven well you know when it's his time to pass that's a decision that you know father god is going to make um but because of all the sin that he has done um he may spend a little bit of time downstairs but then um if he does repent he's able to go to heaven um a lot of you guys are also asking in regards to kim porter we did a, read a reading on kim porter before um and she was crying in the video and she did say like why did you hurt me so if you have watched that video um I don't remember how long that I 
think I did a deep the year that she died. But she did say that you hurt me emotionally. But I could tap in if she hurt him, if he hurt her physically. Okay. Let me put out these decks. This is a love romance deck. Okay. Yes, he did. The angels are showing me that he has dragged her on the floor. He has choked her, punched her. He yelled at her. He spit at her. He forced her to have sex. Okay, sabotage. He sabotages every relationship that he's in, especially when he loves them. And he, after she died, um, it didn't it, it didn't register to him right away of her loss. And then after a couple of years, when he felt the most lon loneliest of his life, then he starts to have regrets in regards to what he has done towards the mother of his children. reveal but information is going to be revealed there is going to be uh, a male that's going to reveal a lot of things that kim did tell him and it's also going to be like four to seven people females that's going to mention in regards to um kim porter um there is information written by kim porter herself that is going to be found and it's going to be revealed someone's going to try to tap into kim porter's old email um and there's going to be certain information in regards to diddy and in regards to what has happened um they had a soul tie which is why you know they kept on being on and off for so many years but diddy was more of a runner he did whatever he wanted to do okay and it, for her it was kind of like no control in him she loved him but to a point she got really tired but every time when he would try to return you know he would sweet talk her he would swoo her in and then he would go back to all traits or habits he used to bring a lot of women into the room you know he said you know force her to have you know intimacy with these women okay sometimes he used to make him sleep on the floor okay and sometimes kim would sit in the bathroom and just cry her eyes out see every time he would try to mend he would buy her buy her off okay this is what she's saying all right she's tapping in right now she says hi everybody <laughs> all right um she's mainly concerned for her children so if you can just please be there for her children she says let's just forget about him you know like now you know things are going to be you know shown to you guys of who he truly is as the soul she said i will always have a love and care for him but at the same time he really has to face consequences now she's very poised she's very respectful she's very classy and she's just she's kind of over it she's in peace now you know so um she just really wants you guys to just be there for her kids so support all her kids projects um this one's gonna come up with music soon this one that's gonna start modeling again um she really wants her daughters to actually focus on college to so support her her daughters in regards to college and their decisions she says be easy on them because they are young girls and they are going to make mistakes okay they are growing and evolving they have always been in the public eye which is something that she didn't really want but you know when it comes down to just sean and you know things were always in my favor um she said he does love the kids okay and he has done, never done anything towards the kids okay um, so that's what she's saying right now mistakes there has been you know a mistake in regards to her the how long she has stood with him but yet at the same time she loved him a lot but yet it was afraid so she said that she would go back and forth you know like she says very hard to let somebody go you know but at a certain time you as a person you do get tired you know this car flew out reminiscing but she sees him at times reminiscing in regards to her and she says she does comes down and she does check on him but not too long okay because at the end of the day she doesn't have any hate in her heart as of right now because of how much peace she has in heaven she has learned her lesson last card neglected but there was at times that she felt emotionally neglected. There has been at times, as she sees, she he has emotionally neglected other women. And now it's time for him to face the neglect. A lot of you guys are asking if there was something that he has done that has led to her passing. So he didn't do exactly what, what has happened to her. It was something that led to it. Uh, what was his childhood like well it's like a lot of kids here in, in, in new york city 
up he didn't have much of an opinion and say when it came down to like his parents okay but um being out on the streets you know playing with all the kids like you know what i'm saying like uh but he did see a lot of like you know drug dealers coming in and out of the house all right There's something about his dad being a dealer mom was attentive but yet mom was absent emotionally okay whatever but sometimes people are just born as egotistical and narcissistic okay and that's that was just him okay and when he was younger he knew he was handsome so he felt as though he could talk to any girl all right he felt as though like it was easy for him to you know to get money off these streets you know what i'm saying so he was very street smart Another question that a lot of you guys have, have asked is in regards to Kid Cudi's car blowing up. Archangel Michael is saying yes. When it came down to... Oh my god, this car flew. Hold on. The car that flew out, it says there's something better. So that's what um, Cassie fell as though there was somebody better. Um... And he just showed me that she was attracted to him, um, friendship-wise, and just like you know, he's not a, a, a ugly individual, personality-wise and to face. Okay, so he got jealous, he got mad, and that's what he did. So yes, and it was kind of like to prove to him, like yo, like don't play with me and what I got. You're not gonna take what I have. Don't interfere. Don't get close to her. You're not gonna befriend her. And it was to show Cassie, like, try to talk to somebody else. And you're going to see what I'm going to do to you. You're going to see how much I'm in lead, in lead of this relationship. So, you know, he tried to remain positive about this. But it just really affected him a little bit. And her as well. It affected her more. So, yes. And then he tried to be, like, nice around him. But angels are saying that Kid Cudi was kind of like, yeah, like freaking weird so he had a lot of problems with a lot of celebrities a lot of male celebrities a lot of rappers a lot of r&b artists and all of that is going to come out um some r&b artists is going to want to be compensated he's not going to pay them some of them might want to take him to court okay and that's the only way that they're going to be able to get their money um any other questions here going through them it was so many on my you know stories that this is just a few that i printed out it's like eight pages um mm. Does he felt any sympathy in regards to his victims? No. Well, others just as big in him in the hip hop world that will go down with him. Yes, and I have mentioned it several times who's gonna be next. Um, but we will not mention that in that video because it's not about them, it's about Diddy right now. If you watch my stories and watch my lives, then you will catch what I, what I say. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. How does his family feel about the video? Mm, okay well when it comes down to his family it's kind of like it's whatever like they don't they don't they're not putting energy to it but when it comes down to some of his friends and people that do know him they feel very disappointed and they see right through the bullshit and they see that he's trying to save his behind and um they're not really a fan of him as of right now and there's a few that it's just like i'm done with him 100 percent um so yeah like they deal with him every day so it's just kind of like you, and it's not an excuse but that's just what they see you know that's what angels are seeing like they deal with him every day like it's just like it's their norm you know so i'm just gonna wind out the video and let's see if there's like any other messages um okay there's one message that's here that um you guys asked um i heard he said p-e-d-o is that true? Like hosting parties and bringing underage G I R L N B O Y S, yes. Which is not acceptable. And we will not talk much about this in my channel. I'm gonna see what is gonna happen for time. If there's any other messages here. We do see that there's gonna be an investigation here in New York, okay, in regards to Diddy. We do see that there's going to be more uh, 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 evidence, as we mentioned before, going to bring up. 
this is him look how it flew out courting man this is literally him okay tuxedo no but the angels are showing me businessman mysterious guy um he's gonna try to be like this like lovey dubby sweet type of uh guru spiritual it's all bullshit um we do see that he's being you know punished okay by you know the divine we do see um there has been some punishment as well it's like like some tough lessons that's going to come from uh saint martha we do see that there's uh an orisha as well that's going to come forth and punish him um we do see a little like voodoo like princess uh you know i don't tap into that but we do see one uh something about his back still so it could be like a tattoo that he has had or like an image that he has on his phone um for messing with her all right because he made a promise to her um and he made a promise to god as well it's just that he plays a lot with spirituality um but he dabbles with the man downstairs so you don't do that you know so he's a very lost soul a very confused soul and because of that he's gonna be punished uh for messing with this um goddess i guess i guess i don't type into voodoo that's not my error i just deal with angels and saints sometimes orishas but not all the time guys that's more that's more complex beauty queen okay we do see that he's gonna try to focus on his this is the last baby that he currently has he's gonna try to focus on this like building a relationship with her we do see there's a level of love and care here but they're like friends right now but we do see he's gonna try to work something out with her but yet at the same time there's gonna be someone that he's gonna be involved with that he's gonna like want to like make like a like a kim porter type of vibe of woman but angels are saying they don't recommend that right now uh, the things that he just doesn't like to be alone um we do see that there's going to be information that's going to be revealed from a male that was you know with him um and this is going to be shut down but it's going to be revealed um some people's going to protest in regards to remo removing his music from like apple music from spotify um like from all platforms but this is gonna be a little bit difficult uh because of the history that that diddy has done with many artists it's been too many songs with many artists throughout the years that it's gonna be extremely difficult to even do this it's like when people try to do this with r kelly it's gonna be very 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 hard to ban all his music okay but a lot of people's gonna like delete his songs from um from like their playlist but it's gonna be many like people from like the hood they're still gonna play him regardless so it's just like the choices you know people's choices is their choices okay um travel we do see he is gonna try to run he's gonna try to travel okay he's gonna try to go like overseas um he wants to get the f out the country but it's gonna be like a halt that's here I don't want to be here. There's a plane that's passing by, so that's my confirmation. Thank you, angels. But they just showed me there's gonna be two trips here, but one of these trips are gonna be halt or like stopped or like there's someone that's gonna approach him, like a police officer. There's gonna be a lot of paparazzi gonna be around him, gonna try to be hidden. Young male. There's a lot of emphasis in regards to his youngest son. This is the one that you gotta watch the most. This is the one you gotta watch the most. This is literally a carbon copy of his. And there's a, someone that he's involved with, this boy, that they're saying that they're not meant to be together. And there was a situation that has happened with this boy of his that is very deep. Um, and more issues when it comes down to this boy is going to come out, okay? So teach him, stop thinking you're hot shit. His ego's too high root chakra out of balance okay this light-skinned son this is the one that you guys are supposed to be supporting the oldest one true love this is the love 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 this is something that diddy has been talking about love 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 but people was like you're full of shit now you've been full of shit 
that's that's the vibe that's not what i'm saying this is the vibe this is the energy okay like stop with the love shit we see right through it stop angels are showing me that diddy is going to try not now oh, he's gonna try to do therapy it's not gonna work as much okay destiny so there is a lesson that's gonna come gossip in the meantime people's gonna talk about him news articles gonna talk about him you know the internet's gonna talk about him your local mom and dad you know grandma and grandpa's gonna talk about him people that know him gonna talk about him they're gonna release information there is a rap group a rap artist that's gonna say something about him or like a clip of him is gonna like of him saying something about diddy's gonna resurface um there's another rapper that has recently done a song with him it's gonna come out with like someone's gonna come up with like a clip of what he said about diddy um there's a new york rapper that's gonna mention something about diddy but he's very low-key oh i know who it is he's so handsome okay but he's gonna come out with certain information um it's something that was said years ago um that's gonna resurface okay and he, but he's gonna try to mind his business and um there's a old two r&b groups that's gonna come up in regards to diddy and mention everything that they have experienced but one of them is gonna sue him there is a female artist that worked with him as well in the mid 90s and that's gonna want to sue him as well and it's gonna mention in regards to their experience there's someone that's gonna be in an interview very soon with a man or two men and that's, that's gonna mention in regards to what has happened with their um relationship with diddy past life see there we go thank you last card is children we do see that he's gonna put money in account for his children it's like he's gonna prepare for the next step like if anything happens you know to me i just need my kids to be straight um he's he's a little bit mentally unwell so he's unsure if he wants to like you know or what but um he's gonna put money in like an, an account he really does this but he's gonna put a lot of money into the account so that money can be safe and he can use anytime that he wants you know because his kids they love him okay despite everything that he has done they love him um because he's a very playful dad he's a very handful dad he's a very giving dad he's a very loving dad but he's a, just a nasty soul to a lot of people um and when it comes down to business he's not as mean to to some people so some people that is of color yes okay and it's not a race thing but this is just what angels are showing me and some people that are just lighter than him no there is someone that has a connection they showing Aaliyah, an image of Aaliyah and diddy Aaliyah and diddy and angels are saying that needs to be resurfaced it's like a picture of there's diddy Aaliyah, and there's diddy Aaliyah and jay-z this needs to be resurfaced and you're just saying there's something that has happened here her face her face her energy is just kind of like and you're just saying this this has to be like this has to be open this has to be open and this is in regards to being involved with yeah. okay all right i'm done this video is very long um this is the longest video i have done um is it anything else The truth, come on, the truth parking mystical body, all right? This is in regards to the abuse, we wind this down, all right? And the denial, all right? So he hasn't really accepted his wrongs in regards to what he has done with Cassie. Um, Cassie is moving on, she's trying to heal. You know, God has sent her her soulmate and he's trying to mend her heart. He's trying to be there as much as possible for her emotionally and mentally, okay? physically as well you know but other than that he's in denial in regards to all the damages that he has done when it comes down to many women especially cassie and he's truly not sorry okay um and that's that 
heart goes out to all women or all men that has been affected by that video i will put a hotline number right here if you guys want to reach out if you are a victim of dv um i pray for all you guys may archangel michael protect you all and guide you all to safety and freedom and of pure love thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next video bye i'm just i'm just not who i am before something different so my new name is love aka brother love